The strongest pillar holding up My Hero Academia's entire story is undoubtedly All Might. Every event occurring in the world is related to him on various levels. Deku chose to become a hero because of him. He's all for one's arch nemesis. Stain became what he is because of him. It all comes back to All Might. His life's vision was to become a symbol that people could rely on, a symbol that relieves the innocent public and scares the shit out of danger. Dangerous villains. And oh boy, did he live up to his dream. Just that iconic smile and I am here made people feel safer. He was, in every way, a symbol of peace. But the key word here is was. Because as the series evolved and progressed further, you realized while on a surface level, everything that All Might stands for is 100% ethical and righteous. But the more you think about it, you start noticing the flaws. That behind these muscles and grin is a sad and flawed man. So much so that by the end of the series, Deku surpassed his idol, not only in strength but also the way he goes about heroism. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, All Might's approach towards a more peaceful society is worryingly simple and assumes the world is black and white. You are either an innocent saint or a horrible villain who deserves to be put in jail, when the reality is much more complicated and grey than that. Tenko was not born a villain. He was just another kid like Deku who admired heroes and wanted to become one himself. But his dad shoved down his dream, his sister ratted him out, and then finally, all for one happened. Obviously, this does not justify his future actions, but it's definitely a cause for why he turned out this way. Only if someone reached out their hand for him, things could have gone differently. But All Might's way went completely against this ideology of trying to save villains. His actions treated villains as unredeemable monsters. Even the idea of saving villains was first introduced in the story way after All Might's retirement. In in most cases, and in short term, this approach makes sense. I mean, the crime rate in Japan significantly dropped in All Might's era. But the thing is, with this method, nothing would universally change. It is just a repeating cycle of hatred and unfortunate circumstances that lead to more villains. And in every generation, we would need a hero like All Might, which we already know is not possible. All Might's thought process of becoming a symbol and saving everyone is great, but it also makes the general public without quirks or weak quirks think they are useless. Cause to save people you need to be a hero and you can't be a hero if you don't have a great quirk or raw power as All Might. That is why MHA society is kind of fucked cause they are all so dependent on heroes and mainly All Might that when there is no hero to save the day they just don't know what to do. I mean take example of the old lady from Shigaraki's backstory. She just left it all on the heroes. And it's not all her fault. All Might's demeanor was so extravagant, both in the story and the world of the story, that becoming a hero seemed like an almost impossible task. And if you're just a regular citizen, the only thing you can do is not make the situation any worse and just leave. But as the series continued with Deku's approach to heroism, the barrier of entry was completely removed. Anyone can and be a hero. Cause a hero is not a superhuman who can jump into nukes and save a ton of people from physical damage, but a hero is someone who reaches out their hand for people in need. This is the exact point the ending delivered. But obviously let's not get into major spoilers. While All Might created this huge aura around heroes, Deku completely deconstructed it and made heroes no different from regular people. Another problem in All Might's heroism is what I like to call the problem of perfection the effect it has on others. Admittedly, it's not all his fault, but the problem exists. The influence he has on everyone in the best case scenario will inspire young kids like Deku to become great heroes, and in worst case, it drives people to levels of insanity and turns them into monsters trying to catch up with him. Yes, heroes like Endeavor. But obviously, what happened with the Todoroki family is all on Endeavor. I'm not trying to say All Might is the reason why Endeavor beats his wife. So a better example would be Stain. Nani o
英雄気取りの背筋主義者がヒーローを歪ませる社会のガンだ Stain's goal was to make a society of heroes who became heroes just to save people and not because of the adverse benefits of being a hero. This is just straight up dumb. Unlike many other superhero stories, in MHA, being a hero is not a special thing. 80% of people have powers. Being a hero is just another job. So, some people do their job for the passion, some do it for the money. That should not be a problem. And obviously, All Might didn't directly cause this, but his perfection is almost a curse to other heroes. Everyone can't be like All Might. Deku, on the other hand, had a much better approach towards being a hero. His way is much more inclusive. I mean, even the narration of the story changed from this is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero to this is the story of how we all became the world's greatest heroes. And by the way, I'm not trying to say this is a flaw in All Might's writing. No, not at all. All of this was very deliberate and just makes sense. The progression of MHA went from a black and white world in which heroes defeat villains to stuff getting a little complicated with Stain's introduction and finally becoming completely grey with the backstories of all these villains. This flaw in All Might doesn't take away from his character, but only adds to it. Becoming the world's number one hero, the symbol of peace, and everyone's hope is All Might's biggest triumph, but also his biggest flaw. And that's about it for this video. Comment down your thoughts on this topic, and while you're already down there, maybe even like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Be safe, be nice, and I'll see you guys the next time. Goodbye. A phone call is here! A phone call is here! A phone call! Yes, hello? He can't possibly be serious with that ringtone.